So our last uh, qualifier for the night, the men's 400 freestyle, and gee, well, if it's half as good as the women's, we're in for a thriller, and on paper it should be. Games last year was a 348 in the heats this morning, and he's gonna come down, a great swim, 344, 34, Jack McLaughlin, Mac Horton there in second, 346, 47, just outside of automatic qualifying for Horton. Winnington there, it's faded a little, a 348, 45. But my goodness, Jack McLaughlin in that form. It's pretty big, um, those two guys are two of the best in the world. I think coming into this, they were like three, in the top six maybe in the world so you know it's very very tough having to um only two spots so yeah getting the w there is really big and a lot of confidence I guess, as you said, looking at that field it was always going to be a pretty tight final yeah it was it was going to be a dog fighting year from the get-go so i'm really stoked to get the win and yeah like it, it just sucks to be honest um like elijah is a phenomenal swimmer and he should be going to worlds but because there's only two spots there's it, it honestly just sucks, like, yeah. Major? Um, not really, you can never count Mac out. Um, we're here, he and I are good mates, and every time I get in the pool, I know he's gonna be right there. If not, I'm chasing him, so, yeah, like, you can never count him out, and at Worlds, he'll be, he'll be a um, contender for the, for, the, for the win as well, so you can never count him out. Jack, 